Nothing happens just like that. Things happen because of a dream. And what you see, this is university, of course, not my dream. The child development center that you are talking about is the first of its kind in India. And I trained, I have trained already 50,000 medical, paramedical persons in different, you know, areas. And everywhere in India you will find a small mini CDC where developmental and adolescent pediatrics. How many of you have children? Almost most, most will have. How many of you have children between 10 and 18? Lots of people. Is it a simple task or difficult task? Simple task or difficult task? Very difficult task. Eh? Very difficult task. Why? Because... Why? Because we don't, we behave like adults and don't mingle with them like what they want you to mingle. Most of the time we don't hug them and by the time we want to hug them, they are grown too big and they don't want you to hug. Am I right? This is exactly, we miss the bus. Next. Let me start from very beginning. Whatever has happened in my life, it is because of this one institution called Christian Medical College. We students used to call it Couple Making College, which is the part of the story. But official thing is called Christian Medical College. Three things I learned. I did my MBBS DCH MD from 69 to 79. And three things I learned from there. One, clinical acumen. You see, if you see a patient... You must pick on the dot what should be the problem. Don't blah, blah, blah and all that. It can only be one, two or three. And it should be one of the three. And if you write more than three cause for anything, the whole paper is cut, you will get a zero. Because the boss will say, you, I can't only think of three things. How can you think of 20 things? No. Just think of three and the three should be perfect. Number two is the spirituality. You know, where it is written, my work is for a king. Okay, Jesus, let it be in any name. But whatever you do, it is in the name of God. That means you have no reason to complain. Okay, and third thing is, uh, my infertility clinic experience has taught me spirituality and sexuality is two sides of the same coin. The problem in Kerala is, we do not appreciate, understand the role of sexuality and spirituality in the family life and our families are now going on the rocks. In my counseling, I know that now maximum that I am seeing is married for three months, six months, less than a year, everybody want divorce. And there was a, any unmarried person here? Any unmarried person? You can be unmarried, but only one girl unmarried. How many of you? Two girls unmarried. How old are you? 23, adult. How old are you, madam? 26, adult. No problem then. And I just want to make sure, is there children sitting here or adults sitting here? You are adult only, no? <laughs> eh? Yes or no? Are you adult? Eh? Yeah, you are adult. Okay, you can't say otherwise. So this is one problem that Kerala faces acutely. You have all the problem across the street, but we are not able to talk to our children directly. We are not able to communicate with them. And the best thing I was telling you, two, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, my own niece's daughter, I only got the niece married, now her daughter is getting married, and suddenly she take fun in calling me Appupa, grandfather. Nobody else called me grandfather. She said, Appupa, I am feeling little tense. I said, what happened, Beta? Oh, because I want to go out of my house, I am feeling tense. But I knew that's not what she was tense about. Very simple. What, what could be? What is she tense about? Tell me, what is she tense about? Huh? First night, that's what she is tense about. Lot of stories she has heard about first night. She is getting tense. People have given her a lot of stories. So I told her, simple better. There is nothing to worry. There is simple thing. When you have a baby, you go to the doctor, get a DPT done. Yes or no? Yes or no? But do you enjoy it? You show the bottom like this and do like this, no? You don't enjoy it, but you have to. I said, better is like a DPT. Take it first day, then you have no problem after that. Eh? Get the point? 
the message has to be given in a way acceptable to the child and she must get the message correctly. And you know what is the result of that? My own niece's daughter. After two days after marriage, I get a call. Thank you, dear. Huh? Very a big thank you. Nothing else. Only a thank you. So this is the problem in Kerala. This is what we learned there. You have to, if you, any problem is a human problem, you look it as a human problem. Don't give frills to it. If I have a headache here, if I have a problem here, if I have a problem here, if I have a problem on the leg, all are same for the doctor. So the doctor should not discriminate. You should be. The, the patient can be shy. The girl sitting in front can be shy. You must understand her shyness. But you don't have to be shy. Three things that made my life what I am. Because you are HLL and your background is from quantum, that's why I'm saying some of these things. Because where you, although you are grown much beyond, still I think you still produce condom? Yes, we do. Next. Second, I came 35 years ago, I came to SAT, and I admire one man, that, that frail figure in front, in the middle. Who is it? Maharaja of Travanku. I adore him because he was the absolute power. Military, executive, judiciary, everything. And his younger brother, the, the next king, told me a story. He says, I was a naughty boy. And he said, a bad boy, he said. Not even naughty. I was very bad. Compared to my elder brother, I was very, very naughty. I got irritated and I, you know, gave a slap to one elderly servant. And what would the servant would have done? He bent little more and said, thank you for the slap and went away. But half an hour later... He was called to the presence of Maharaja and there was nearly 400 employees there. And Maharaja just told the Elay Raja, the younger one, that you have made a mistake. It doesn't matter. You are a young boy. You could make mistake. But you have slapped somebody older than your father. Please apologize. Please apologize. Nothing more. He said with a please. And he said, I have no choice. I either apologize or go to jail. Because Maharaja has given an order I have no. I learned from him how to be humble, simple, and intellectual. Have you ever met him? Have you ever you talk to him? If you say you are from, you know, you are from ISRO, he will talk only space. If you say you are from animal husbandry, he will talk only about animals. Man who could talk anything, but so humble till the last breath of his life, sitting like this. Okay. In the initially, there were thousands on the roadside, but last few day, years, nobody on the roadside bothering, but still his hand will be like this. Next. I did research methodology in Australia, and one year, it was a one-year program, and there I said, any problem, there's a way of, systematic way of looking at it. Number one, you look at the burden of the problem. If the problem is big enough, that needs immediate attention. If the problem is very small, then you may not, you may ignore. So any problem, you look at the burden, then you look at the causation or the risk factors. Causation and risk factor means tu tuberculosis because of a bacilli, that is causation. Diabetes produce your heart disease, that is a risk factor. It's a, it's a little technical term. Then you must plan for your intervention. What can be done? And if you do intervention, then you must lay, say, can you upscale it? Most of the research, how many of you have done PhD? Anybody who has done PhD? One, two, so many of them. When you do a PhD, who is the most happy person? Tell me. You, your guide or somebody? Who is the most happy person when you do a PhD? Eh? Oh, you are happy for a few days. After that, you forget about it. Yeah, you forget about it. What is there? Nothing. But there is some one group of people so happy whenever a student do a PhD. Silverfish in the library. In the library, Irattavalan. Very happy. They, they have a joint meeting and do clapping because somebody has done a PhD. What do they use? Next five years they can eat on that paper. That's all what most PhDs land up here. You, under, you got a point. Most of us do PhD because you want to do a PhD. So that should not happen. Next. Then I did my PhD in developmental neurology in SAT, 
and three words you should know. Impairment, disability, and handicap. When, when, when you do a difficult delivery, your hand becomes like this. Have you seen that? Injury to the nerve, it is called Earth's palsy. Let the name be there. It is a impairment, neurological impairment. Okay? And that can become a disability because you can't do anything with the right hand, but you quickly learn to do everything with the left hand. So disability is a functional that can be compensated by the other hand. But then it can become a handicap. Imagine it's a girl and we all have the sari on the, to the left. What happens? This part will be very lean, thin, and everybody look at it. What happened? What is the solution? What is the solution? Any solution? Like Bengal. I know, I know you will give the answer. Because it like the Sinhalese or Bengalese, you can put the sari to the other side. Then what happened? You will be the chick in the college. Because everybody put the sari on this side. You are the only one doing it. All boys will be after you. So it is a social issue. It is a social issue. So at each stage, you can do hand, prevent handicap. Next. I did my counseling training, and three words only is important. The whole of psychology, there are only three words. Cognition, affect, and connection. Cognition means our thinking, the brain, the real brain. Connection means our action or behavior. Affect means our feeling. Okay? If I said something to you, Sir, I am going to tell you something. Your hairline is going up. What is the expected result from you? You hate me for the rest of your life because you told in public. But what I said is a fact. But he still can hate me. Or you can also say, Thank you. Your, yours is even worse. You are covering it up. You, you get the point. How you take it, that's how the result comes. It's not what you say or what you did. Okay? Mola in the Vulikarile. Husband in the Vulikarile. Randu Molu Vari. Chala Sametha Mola in the Vulichal? Manslaya. You understood? Better you call. Depending on the circumstances, the meaning totally changes. So every behavior of us. Depend on how you feel about it. You can take a feeling pathway or you can take a cognitive pathway. I'm saying because there are a lot of employees and difficult bosses here. Bosses are easy or difficult? Bosses are easy or difficult? Difficult, no doubt about it. That's why they are bosses. So the moment they shout at you, what, what can you do? What can you do? What should you do? Say nothing. Then later on asking, sir, some problem at home? <laughs> eh? you, know, you should show concern. When somebody shouts at you, you should not get angry. You should actually do show concern. Why? Because you are shouting at me, not because I did something wrong. I must have some, done even worse things, you laughed it off. Because that time you are in a very different mode. It's okay, it's okay, okay, better, better, it's okay. But today you are jumping at me. So what is the problem? Problem is yours. Are, are you with me? So this is very important. Every time we shout at somebody, every time we use bad words, every time we get upset, we are losing control of, of ourselves. It's really not what the other person did or said. It's much more of our own problem to control our emotions, and we had some little problems. Maybe we are worried about something. Maybe you are tense up. I also will do it. Not that I won't do it. All of us will do. But my problem, is, my good thing is, the moment I do it, I shout, I realize I have lost, I have failed once. And I immediately call and say, sorry, you know, I was just in a bad mood. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you get the point? So this is the connection pathway. Remember, every time you shout at either the boss or the boss shout at you, the problem is not on the other side. Problem is on your side. Tell the husband today, somebody told you this. Huh? You understood? Recently it happened actually. 
I came home, I shouted. So my wife asked, why are you shouting? So I told her in my office, I can't shout at it. Forget about shout, I can't talk to anybody. Whatever you say will become news. So I don't, I can't shout at anybody in my office. I can't shout at anybody on the way. At least in my house, I should be sh shouting, no? She said, that is a correct point. Get inside, she locked the door and said, finish your shouting, come back. <laughs> eh? It's your right to shout. But the only thing is, get into the room, do all the shouting, and then come back. Next. And management. Management, of course, is an old story. It's a, it's a simplest word. Anybody who doesn't know management, want to talk about management, they will use this sort analysis. Okay? But yet, it is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing because it helps you to assess your strength, weakness, and the opportunities you are missing, and the threats to your personality, you as a person. Next. Philosophy. Philosophy teaches you only two things. What is the ultimate of philosophy? I am right from my point of view, that's why I'm getting shouting at you. You are right from your point of view, that's why you're retorting. But the real truth is both of us are right, but both of us are wrong also. The real truth is something else. That's ultimate philosophy. In Kusat, my cousin, who is a senior officer in ISRO, is doing PhD, and he is struggling with his philosophy paper. I said, why are you reading philosophy? He said, a full paper in PhD is on philosophy, Indian philosophy, Western German philosophy, and whatnot. Because philosophy is the ultimate in life. We, at, the, at your age, you think you are getting PhD, this, that, you are conquering the world. But as you go up and up and up, age goes up every 10 years, you realize the futility of many of the things that you fought for. You fought for one promotion and did so much of struggle. And you reach a stage where promotion, nothing matters to you in this world. So long as I can have some, you know, liquid food tolerate. You come to that stage. So this is the philosophy of life. Next. Then, child right base. Now, remember, just remember three words. Your rights, needs, and wants. What is the difference between need and want? What is the difference between need and want? What will you get after this program? Coffee, tea? Or nothing? Huh? With what? What will you accompany? What? Huh? Okay. A coffee, at least a coffee after this one, one hour of boring lecture is a must. It's a need of the day. Huh? But if you insist on having chicken nuggets and whatnot and what, it is your want. Need should be satisfied. Want can never be satisfied. When you get one, you want to make it ten. When you get ten, you want to make it hundred. Hundred should become, you remember the song, thousand. Thousand should become ten thousand lecture. It goes like that. So you, are, you can never satisfy your wants, but you can satisfy your needs. Next. There's a concept of equity. What is equity? Hmm? What is equity? Anybody? It's not equality, sir. Surely it's not equality. Hmm? I have bought, brought a bundle of sanitary pads. I'm going to give one, one pack each to all of you. Should I or not? Yes or no? It benefits whom? The female. So just for equality, I need not distribute to everybody. For each as they need. That is equity. The woman would benefit by it. You carry this home, you get a beating also. Where did you get from? Where did you get from? Where did you go? You, life will be miserable for you. So better not to give to you. But the woman would say, at least I don't have to go to the shop now. Equity is a concept of need base. It's not equality. Next. Now, this is a very... How many of you know this model? Anyone? Yes or no? If you know, just say, I won't... Yes. Okay, what are this whole thing? It's a normal curve in which any organization, if you look at, you have, on the one side, you have 10% people 
or 2.5 percent who are the innovators and 10 12 percent who are the early adopters you get the point any organization has r d only because of these people they have innovative ideas some have innovative ideas some quickly absorb it and implement it so 13.5 percent okay on the other side you have again 16 percent laggards laggards means don't beat me uncle no point waste of time every organization has it i'm sure hll also has it isr has it plenty you know what they do isr i know isr because three of my brothers were in very top position isr you know what they do the moment the fellow is useless they will appoint him as a director of future research He'll give me a room, pen, you know, this thing, your salary will come. Don't disturb other people. You sit there and think of future research. You have future, director of future research, then I, I will get beaten up. Do you have any director of future research? No, that means you don't have any laggards. You understood? Where, the difference between administration and a management is this. An administrator will spend all his energy on that 16% people, give them memo, give them notice, suspend, do what and all that. And what will he spend his life on? He will be watching the man all throughout. When she talked to that female, where were he, did he stand like this, did he stand like this? When he was sitting there, did his leg go forward or backward? He has no other thing to do in life except to target you all the time. So heaven's sake, Ignore such people. And I have learned from G.K. Pillai, who was a four, former Home Secretary. There were four people in his office when he was Health Secretary. was impossible characters. What he did is he called a meeting of the department and gave them award all to all four of them. They couldn't believe what is happening. Eh? And next day morning when he came, 10 o'clock, the fellow who used to come at 12, he is already there on the seat. Sometimes shock treatment also is required. But look at the other one, early adopters and late, you look at the early adopters, early majority, late majority. That means 35% people will get into the new idea if you give them little help. Another 35 on the other side will do it if you coax them, if you give them some incentive. If you motivate them, you know all about motivation, internal, external, what not. You know about all sort of money, motivation, you know, position, all that. So a good manager will focus on that 70% and give an enabling environment to the first 13.5. Give an enabling environment. The, the chief doesn't have to come down at all. He just has to pat him on the back. Everything okay? Do you need my help? Do you need anything? No, sir, everything is okay. Just pat him like this, he will do, because he has to do it. It is his inner need to do innovation. The last one, nothing, whatever you do, this thing. But in between, you focus. Manager should focus on the in between, because with a little bit of motivation, they do well. Our problem as a husband, as a wife, as a manager is that, we see the negatives, we don't see the positives. We always see the negatives, we never see the positive. And if you want, I, I, you come my home, my wife will give you a good class on this one. Never in my life, 33 years of married life, she has said a negative thing. And the maximum she will say is, you see, see, suppose your students see you behaving like this, I don't know. I am afraid what will they think of. You understand my point? But the way she will say is like that. So after 33 years, recently I told her, I think I am falling in love with it. She said, no, no, don't be in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of time left. Take a firm decision. Don't be in a hurry. You understand my point? So this is what it is. Life success is not based on your intelligence. It is, you know all about IQ, EQ, PQ, you know that? Huh? Emotional quotient, social quotient, and most important, practical quotient, PQ. Some people have tremendous practical quotient. Somehow they will manage the thing. And politicians are the people who get maximum practical quotient. 
Have you ever heard of a politician dying of heart attack? Never they will die. Never they will die. Because they never take anything to heart. For them, it's everything is a game. I gained this time, I'll sit on you. I lost this time, I'll fall on your feet. But whatever it is, they will not take to heart. They are very practical question people. Next. And my whole life, I have only one philosophy. If you are director, if you are chief, chairman, nothing matters. None of this matters. You may be the super, doesn't matter. What matters is, do you have a good family or not? If you don't have, your life is not worth it. Your peace, contentment comes from your family and your children. My son, I'll tell you, the most happiest thing, thing in my life was my son quit a big job. And everybody said, what nonsense. But I was the most happy man. He did engineering, he did MBA, he went to a new generation bank on a high salary, but one day he came and told me, Daddy, I'm going to quit. I said, why? He said, my job is coaxing these big, huge investors and pushing them into ins you know, this insurance and cheating them. And my friend feels so happy. One day he che cheated somebody. Evening he'll come with beer. He's celebrating. Why don't you have it? And every time I do, I feel sad inside. And I think I can't continue like this. I said, okay. Wait for two more weeks. Think again and again and quit. And he did, he quit the thing and then he said, I want to go five years. I said, okay, why not? Go. After one month, I called him and said, now let us do some reality check. What is a reality check? How many, what is your chance of getting IAS? 0 0.00001. One in a lakh will get. And already your age is, you know, 26 plus. Is it worth taking a risk now? Then he realized, yes, chance is very little. If I don't get things, it will be a problem. Then my brother-in-law immediately pushed him. Why don't you become a pilot? Not a bad. He is a pilot. So he said, why don't you become a pilot? Now he is actually doing for piloting. Expense is huge. Expense is huge. I cannot afford it. But still, you felt proud of a son who didn't want to cheat other people. That means your father's son. You understood my point? Forget about the job. Whatever you gain in life, what is the meaning unless you have peace at home? Whether you should be able to, you should get cheap. That's why as a vice chancellor, I have taken three policies. I want a peaceful retirement, God willing. You never know. Sometimes whatever you do, you may get into trouble. But three things are absolute rules. Number one, go by rule book. Nobody can coax me to do things. Beyond the rule. Rule book. I can change the rule for need. But if the rule is there, I will not change. Number two, standard of the university. I will not bring down. Because then, what is the purpose of me sitting as VC? Number three, 100% student friendly. There is no VC in this world where a student can just walk into my office. And 50% of my time is spent on counseling students on their own simple problems. And 99% of the time, I can't do any help because they are asking impossible things. But at least they go back home happy. Sir has heard your problem. Explain to me why I can't do this, why it is against the rule. You get you got a message? And that is why our Honorable Chief Minister is trying to push a, a, a bill called the right to be heard. Have you heard of that? The right to be heard. Every office, corporate office, you should have a place where people can go and talk, a senior level person, in rotation, not you, one person can't be do. A senior level executive should sit in rotation and said, whatever problem you have, please come to me. I am there to listen to your problem. And I will try to help you whatever possible. You, you got a message. That's a very important thing. Next. Now, I started life as a newborn specialist in, in 90, 80s. I was a top new newborn specialist. Then I had my babies. We started 88. I started my PhD program and started following up newborn babies. Then I became a pediatrician, a, a preschool specialist, then became a you know adolescent specialist. Now I am a youth specialist because when I went to Trichur, I had two sons, two children, and now I have more than 80,000 children. Makkalanu dhanne the moment I feel like my children, 
they have not done anything wrong even if they have done wrong i look at it in a different way you understand my point recently i i was in a program where i gave and called two children and gave them bouquet and i said you think i like you he said of course that's why i said no i am not liking you i am liking whom my two children i am seeing them in your eyes you get the point i can't do that to my son who is far away but when i do it to you somebody is going to do that to my children you heard of a father who actually saw a scooter accident abuse about the today's youth rascals who doesn't know road manners blah blah he quietly came home and then got a phone call your son has had an accident and what he said abuse and came was his own son you you got the message so this is an important thing how how, how much hll do well it is important but that is not the most important how content are the the staff there if they are not content content with what they are then the organization is not thriving it is just surviving it is not thriving that's very important next now quickly we'll go one or two messages in cmc 9 up to 1980 i learned that brain damage occurs only due to three things there may be four and five but three main things what are the three things if i collapse here what is the reason either oxygen supply is not there or i don't have glucose or i don't have blood supply going to blood and that's why i fall when i fall blood will go to brain i will get up We got a point so god has made all the three if if you have a delivery you should have a place where you have bamboo bag somebody to make the baby breathe and you should have breast feeding look at this is a 7 month old baby 7 month not 7 month old 7 month inside 28 weeks baby look at the eyes of the baby when he is sucking and look at the way he is holding on to so god has created it such a way that if you don't if you don't breastfeed you are a woman when you breastfeed you become a become a mother that is the difference between it. next then you have a high risk baby what is a high risk baby who had who did not get enough oxygen who did not get enough enough glucose or who did not get enough blood in the brain or sometimes increased jaundice only four conditions okay and what to do i will little technical i will leave it next next one ha huh. don't try to read all this the most important wonderful thing that has happened in technology is the ultrasound machine and i think you you are dealing with ultrasound also isn't it and the best machines now we call it 4d and all but actually it's a 3d only 4d i have i have done a training for this also ultrasound is the best invention after stethoscope but unfortunately it is not being used properly because of many act including pndt act you know it is restricting the use of it if i if i go to a small doctor mbbs in a rural place and i say i have acute pain all that he has to do is just do the ultrasound even if he can't interpret just transfer it to a bigger center they'll tell you this is appendix such a wonderful thing that can you can make you if you see the ultrasound of eyes it is 100 times better than actually seeing it such minute details you can do with ultrasound so in the brain damage can be picked up very early next now second if you have a low birth weight baby baby born early two things should be done make sure that eye is not damaged make sure that ear is not damaged okay now i am talking this to mothers and grandmothers make sure that your newborn baby if it's low birth weight or preterm means born before there are two possibilities of him becoming blind or deaf you should know that next this is my phd first time in the world i have proved that if the mother gives stimulation to the baby and what the mother stimulation all that your grandmothers used to do they'll take the baby do like this speak to him you know speak to his ears he'll do like this 
all rocking movements, talking to him, everything your grandmother do, I have shown that above 2,500 ba gram babies, that is 2.5 kg, at one year, IQ is 84. Then, the below 2,500 is 75. You got the thing? I, just look at the first half. Above 2,084 or 85 IQ, other one is 75. 10 point difference or 9 point difference. But if you give early stimulation with the mother, it can become 83.8, which is almost same as 84. Are you understanding? That means a baby who is sick, if the mother do early stimulation, he, he can... Eh? No, no, nothing. It's a, it's a baby. What we have done is 1,000 babies who are born earlier or born with problem or low birth weight, we gave early stimulation. It's called a randomized control trial. At the end of one year and two year, we look at the IQ in a... One year and two year. One year and two year. And we did IQ. And what I showed is at one year, there is a difference like this. Two years, there is a difference. Five years, there is a difference. And how, does, how much it costs? Nothing. Just the mother. We as babies, we were taken from one hand to other hand. And now what happens? Mother put the baby there, she is busy with her work, she put the radio, she will put the TV, and half, lot of children are becoming what? Autistic. Have you heard of autism children? Huh? Who doesn't react to you, who doesn't have any emotional content? They just behave as if you are, a, you know, this table and me are same. They are no, in fact, they may <laughs> like the table, they will do this, but they will look at your face. So, even if you are busy in the office, you have to find time for your child. And remember, we men are what type? Giving type or taking type? 100% hmm? taking type. If the child has a problem, we will pretend to be very busy in the office, push all the burden on the poor mother. And she cannot handle it. And she gets buckles under that. So my counseling is always for them to tell the husband that don't run away from responsibilities. You need to share with them. And if you have a baby with problem, it take it as a God's gift to make you become very close. Otherwise, 50% of marriages will break. That's what I'm seeing. The presence of a disabled child will break 50% marriage. Next. Now, of course, the whole child development, I have made it so simple. At two months, child should have social smile, which means if you smile at him, he will smile back. Okay? Four months, he should have head holding. Eight months sitting, one year standing. Make sure that your baby see, hear, and listen. That's all. And every 24,000 deliveries, I give this card to the mothers and said, if there is a problem, please come back to us. He is better than a pediatrician. Why mother is better than pediatrician? Have you taken a small baby to ophthalmologist? When they go there, the child will do skews the eyes like this. Ophthalmologist do this, this, and say, come back after six months. Why come back after six months? Because he could not open the eyes. Simple as that. Whereas mother will sit and you know rock the baby, play with the baby. He will be awake whole night. So mother can assess a baby much better than a professional. Next. Now, this is some grading. Forget it. Next. Ah, this is my good old days when I look, at least looks <laughs> young. You didn't say smart. Huh? I thought you will say smart. <laughs> huh? But she wanted to say that, no? Huh? You wanted to say that, no? Handsome, no? Yeah, yeah. That's not change. change. Look at the leg. A spastic child leg becomes tight like this. You know, like this. The spastic baby is like this, crossing leg, foot will raise, bend like this, arms like this, and finger, thumb will go inside. You understand? Have you seen the babies? You can prevent this by, at the first year, look at, separate the leg. If the leg is tight, you know there is a problem. And what do you do that? Take the baby like this. When you take the baby like this, like this, what happened? Thighs separate. The foot will be going like this. So what do you do? You keep doing exercise like this. And I always tell the mother, if you want to gossip, <laughs> eh? 
This is the best place to do. Go to the boundary, gossip about every woman in this world, but God will not punish you because along with gossiping, you are also doing this therapy. Understood? So that's the best way to do that. Next. Forget about this. Next. Now, this is the biggest thing I am talking about. You don't look at all this. Autism, it comes around one and a half years. Till one and a half years, child looks okay, and then he go back. Every phone call from Gulf, without any thinking, I can say your child has autism. Okay? What is the problem? You must diagnose it early. And how do you diagnose it early? When your baby doesn't look in your eyes and give you that special feeling. If you had been in love in your younger days, you understand what that means. How many of you have been in love in school days, college days? Raise your hand. Bluff. Don't bluff like this. Even God will not forget to forgive you like this. Come on, come on. How many of you had love affair? Huh? Only this much? None of the women are not saying. Oh, you are saying. Okay, very good. If you have been in love, you know that you can communicate with the other person without even looking. Have you seen that? You, know, you can communicate, only you will understand, nobody else will understand. A mother and baby communicate like that. That passion in her eyes can be appreciated by you, but not by somebody else. This is very important. I thought you will ask, did I have a love affair? Yes or no? Did I? Did I have or not? Yes? Which class? <laughs> huh? Huh? Which class? Fourth standard. <laughs> One Elizabeth. We used to walk together, that's all. From the school. And ninth standard, one Susan. Huh? And that Susan recently became my wife's colleague. And she heard about me. She said, I want to see him. I want to see him. And my wife was so excited. Oh, why don't you go? We will go and see an iron hand. <laughs> why? Why must be that? Huh? Huh? Simple as that. I, I have loved that little girl frock with frock and hair and all that. Now what shape? God knows. <laughs> huh? Why spoil my days? At least when I lie back, I can dream about my school days. Once I see the reality, gone gaze. So anybody in love, I always say, it's not a waste. It adds up to your, adds up to your fantasy. But don't do the fantasy in front of the husband, you will never understand. Okay? Don't, don't be mistaken. Don't ever trust a man who say, I am very open-minded. If your husband say that, make sure 100% he is the most, you know, close mind person. Men can never take anything that way. I am telling you from practical experience. Okay, next. So we have a, this is the, this is a re report we gave 20 years ago that class one should be only up after six years. And now last year, two years ago, couple civil made it a order. You understand? Only six years you can become going to class. We were fighting it for it 20 years ago. Next. This is some scales that is used. If you go back to your home and look at the immunization card, you will find every hospital chart, you will find this card. But they won't give the name of the chart or my name. They will take it as if their own. Doesn't matter. After all, it's for public use. Doesn't matter. This is the second one is for early language development because early language development is very important for diagnosing learning difficulties later on. So it's a simple tool. What is the advantage of this tool? If you use an American tool, every time you test one child, you have to give five to ten dollars back. Of course, Indians won't give it. That's a different story. But if you are doing a research, you have to give it. So whereas this is free, anybody can copy it. Next. Next. It's six years. Next. This is all validation. Now, what does validation mean? I cannot make something and say it is good. I have to show, prove by method research that it, it is one test. The simple one is as good as the complicated test 99% of the time. You understand my point? You may make a mistake, 1 in 100. Next. Now, this is a huge project we did, uh, Child Development Referral Unit. A, a, Disability survey we did, okay? And what we found was 
there's so much of disability in the community, in the children, which we don't recognize. So what we did is, this, whatever we developed at CDC, we converted into a project in the community. And now, if anybody from Patanandita, last year we got, you got Patanandita? Are you aware of a huge program Jilla Panjayat is doing? Yes, we got the award from the CM's award for the best innovation in the community. Whatever I have done in CDC has been transferred to the community and they have done a beautiful job. Next. This is a sort of delay that I am talking. It's a too much of medical, I will leave it. Next. Now, this is at international level. Southeast Asian developing countries, we have developed a huge project for early diagnosis of disability and it is a scale. Next. Now then we about adolescents. I was IAP president, Indian Academy of Pediatrics president 2004. For the first time I said, it is, we are committed to look after you till you are 18. Now every plus two school has Sauhoda club and whatnot and whatnot. If you look at Indian literature, there will be 120 papers on adolescents and or out of 150 papers, at least 120 papers will be mine on research on mental health, reproductive health, and physical health of adolescents and young adults. Next. All the pro now, this is one important thing. Adolescents and family life education. Many people ask me, how do you talk to these girls? You let go. You talk openly. How do you let go? Don't if you, don't, aren't you afraid that children won't like it or parents won't like it? How do you decide what is appropriate and not appropriate? I always tell them that this one. Look into the child, I saw the child sitting in front of you. See the reflection of your own daughter and whatever you say will be as a parent. Are you with me? You understand what I'm saying? Mumbai irikinda kunjinda kanni nokita sondam magalude rubang kana mangal are you with me? This is what exactly what I'm saying. Next. So a whole lot of programs, teen club and all that. What is the, you look at that one. One of the things that we did in teen club is, you know, when boys and girls get together, parents are very worried love affair will start. They call it line. So what we do is, one row boys, one row girls. And then we tell them, Bell. Every three minutes there will be a bell. You have to ask each other what is your name, this and all. You looked in the eyes, you liked her. After three minutes you go to the next one, you think she's better. And then you go to the other. You know, in a day you see about 40 of them, you are confused which one to stick on. So no love affair will come. Very simple philosophy. Very simple philosophy. Okay? You understood? So any place where boys and girls get together, don't give them, and for girls, I must, if mothers must tell their daughter, never look into the eyes of a boy and give sob stories. He will think you are in love. Never do that. You understand my point? You can look around like this and say, but don't look into the eyes, you are finished. Okay? Mothers should tell the children that don't look into the eyes of the child and tell sob story. In the office also, this is important, huh? <laughs> okay, next. Okay, the first teenage clinic in Pangapara. You go there, the board. It's the first teenage clinic in India. Next. Now, three things, counseling. The whole school counseling program was initiated by a whole lot of research that I have done. Three words in counseling you should learn. Only three words. First one is advice. What is advice? What is advice? Hmm? What is, do you like advice? No, why you don't like advice? Because I am telling from my point of view, times have changed. What is guidance? A medic, you come to a medical person, he gives you an advice. With his professional knowledge, you take it, don't take it. But if you take it 90% of the time, it will be good for you. So we must not advise children. We must, we must guide the child. That's what I did. The first day my son came for IAS, if I told him the story, he would have abused me and walked out. Because he is already frustrated about losing a job. Although he resigned, it's a failure for him. You understand my point? And he is trying to catch on that IAS bandwagon. If I, if I said anything on that day, he would have become my enemy. But after one month, 
slowly the idea is creeping into his mind that this is not a real reality then you tell him just think is it reality because he is also halfway through tune this is what you should do for your children if your son retort to you it is because you show power it is because you don't try to understand guess i tell you i have a class 7 standard girl who is in love and the parents caught the boy coming through the thing into the bedroom class 7 you will be shocked but after three counseling session things are perfectly okay now i don't say it it can still last it can break even now but i think 99% it is okay because the parents will react with emotions and i react with no emotions you understand my difference because i have no emotion they have a line to you know to listen to i'll tell you a story a, a big man in secretariat i got 27 posts because of this his daughter was giving lot of trouble and first she was brought to me for counseling and she will look like this for anulla mat he will look at your face and i am looking at her i am doing i am i am sitting like this 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes You know, children can't wait that long. We can wait. I have no problem. Nothing to do. I am sitting, do something. Then she started looking into eyes. You know, I also started looking eyes. You know, after some time I saw she had big eyes. You know, really. Oh, I said, "Mudinya karna." You know, oh, under karna. And then there was a little twitching. She started smiling. Then I told her the boy also say the same thing. Then she winked at me, and that is the first thing. Okay. can i do it in office i can't do in my home i can do office they will think what is wrong with this fellow but sometimes you know you can ice breaking can come only then i we discuss a lot about the boys after second visit she said i left him i said how come he slapped me then we realized this was the first love affair so she didn't want to give leave give up but every moment he was a pain in the neck and the moment he slapped her then it became a good enough reason so i said congratulation so why didn't you tell me last time i said last time you won't listen that's why i didn't tell you 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 get the point instead of that if you try to fight with the child lock her up do this do that nothing will work next this is how many of us are mad here anybody chira screw loose athra ver unda ha anybody one he she is normal guarantee she is normal anybody who think i have something wrong with me must be the only normal person okay how do you decide very simple see all of us feel sad all of us feel tense all of us feel all that that's okay but first step is if it becomes out of proportion to the cause you feel sad for nothing You don't know why I am feeling sad, but I am feeling sad. You feel anxious for nothing. You don't know why, and for many days, not one day, many days, many weeks, there is a problem. And along with that, if you develop body symptoms, so for example, anxiety, heartbeat will increase. You are holding my hand, and sir, you are holding my hand, and you are palpating something. Did you feel something? You could feel my pumping. Did you notice that? Did I? Did we talk anything about it? But I understood that he was sitting because my heart was pumping very forcefully, and so it, it reflected in the hand. And from his touch on the hand, I could realize that he is wondering what is happening. Did you wonder? Huh? Yes or no? Yeah. This is a counselor. I knew you are getting worried about what is happening, but nothing. Nothing wrong with me. Just happened that. suddenly i thought sometimes i get it you know yes it was pumping more i this is called perceiving a good counselor is a person who can perceive the problem of other person other person doesn't have to say very often when they come for counseling i say many things that happen in their bedroom also so how do you know all this they will say she put think that i saw peep through the window or something I said, don't ask me. How do I know? Is it correct or wrong? Mm, correct, correct, correct. Everything is correct because you can perceive. After seeing so many, you can perceive from her behavior what is happening. 
So second one. Third one is avoidant, not able to do your job. So if you have anxiety, if you have, if you have sadness, out of proportion to the cause, it co make you eat less, sleep less, you know, not interest in the usual thing. I'm not joking. This is extremely important for middle-aged women. Because you have three problems there. One, what is the three problems? One, you may be getting into menopause or menses is stopping. You get hot flesh and all irritation and all that. Husband will never understand why you are behaving funny. But you are suffering inside. One. Number two, this is the age when you get hypothyroidism. Thyroid doesn't function well. Okay? This is also the time you feel unwanted. You remember the time when you got married, first few things? He won't, he won't let you do the kitchen cooking also. He'll come pinch there, pinch here, what, what not? Huh? You liked it, but you still said, no, 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 all that. Now you are waiting by the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he understood the problem. But then realize that problem is, he also has problem. See, all machines after sometimes get... Fatigue. So it's not that he doesn't want to do all that. He still wants to do, but because of fatigue of machines, you know, every machine after a few years gets fatigued. So just take it that way. Okay? Now you understood. Poor fellow is not bad fellow. It's just that his own problem is creeping in. So remember, this is the age where you can get into depression. And I get plenty of women who come for depression at this age. And they start having problem in the office because they can't handle things. Next. This is the thing. Now, remember, if you have a problem, there is a biological reason, there is a psychological reason, and there is a social reason. This is what depression is all about. You have, if I get acidity, what is the reason? Acid, isn't it? What should I do? Go for counseling or take a antacid? You know, if somebody come in, I want to smash him and go. You are so irritated. I'm telling you frankly, that's why doctors sometimes become like that. You know, it becomes too much on your head. Eight, 12 hours listening to nonsense. And then what I do is I go to Sri Yandeshana. Spend few minutes there, I cool down. Then come home. And you know what my wife will do? Open the door, just walk away. Won't say a word. Then the paper will come. TV will be on, one cup of tea or coffee will be there, and then she will walk away. Till I cool down and start talking, she won't say anything. But if she said something at that moment, I would have probably slapped her. I never done that. But you, you are in that mood. Just give people time to just to take care of themselves. Okay, next. Next. Overweight issue. I only want to say one thing. Next. Ah, this is a next. This is a huge study. This is a ah, okay. This is the most important thing. Next, ah, this one. Biggest problem: our children are obese. Along with obesity, forget about heart. Uh, you know all that problem. Next, they, this is the biggest problem I am working. Three gynecology professors are doing PhD with me, and the first on this. What is this? PCOD. What is PCOD? Polycystic ovary syndrome. Twelve percent of children have it. We have done a study of 5,000 girls. And what is it? Obesity, black patches in the neck, increased hair growth, no menses. And if your child has it, go to the doctor quickly because tomorrow she may develop infertility. And the only treatment is, effective treatment is weight reduction, weight reduction, weight reduction. But then you will ask me, it's easy to say, but how do I reduce weight? How do I? Take opportunities. Now I am the vice chancellor. I am on a weight reduction move. Why? Why? I am alone there. No food. Afternoon I get the Kudumbasuri food. Morning and evening bread. Weight will reduce automatically. Huh? So instead of crying over lack of food, what I should do? God has given me an opportunity to to reduce weight. Don't eat after 7 p.m. Have early dinner. Okay? Reduce the rice. 
ചോറ് കുറയ്ക്കുക ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഡു ലിറ്റിൽ എക്സസൈസ് ആസ് മച്ച് ആസ് യു ക്യാൻ നോട്ട് ഗോ ടു എ ജിം ബട്ട് ഡു എ ലിറ്റിൽ എക്സ് ഗോ അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺ ദ സ്റ്റേഴ്സ് വാക്ക് റൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ദ ഓഫീസ് ഡോൺ ടേക്ക് യു നോ കാർ ഇഫ് പോസിബിൾ യു വിൽ റെഡ്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ബെസ്റ്റ് തിങ് വാട്ട് ഐ ഡു ഈസ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് മിനിറ്റ്സ് മന്ത്രം ചൊല്ലുക വട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് സാങ് ചാൻഡ് മന്ത്രാസ് ഓക്കെ എനി ഓഫ് യു ഡു എനി ഓഫ് യു യെസ് സാർ വിച്ച് വൺ യു ഡു ഏ ഗജരൂഢായ നമ ഗജപതനായ ഗവേ നമ ശശതായ നമ ശശുരൂപാത്മയോനി മഹാതേ സതേജരൂപിണി യോഗനിധി യോഗി ശേഷസഞ്ജയ നവീന ഗിരിധാര സത്യസന്ധ മധുരമേള ചതുർഭാവ വേദ വിധ സൗഖ്യ കാര്യയുക്തായ കാമാതിരി വശമാലിന്യ വശമോഹിന്യ തിരുവാന്ത പുത്ര കാലാപ്ന ശക്തിയുക്ത ദേവപൂജ ഡിം ഡിവ മഹാപ്രഭേ സംഭരണ ദിവ്യനത്തപ്രയ ദിവ്യകേശ സന്താഗ്രഹ സന്തവന്ധ്യ ചതുരാത്മയെ ഫലദായ ഗണം ജയായേ നമ എന്തു പ്രോബ്ലം വന്നാലും വാട്ട് എവർ ബി ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് എ വൈസ് ചാൻസില് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഫിനിഷ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വൺ എയ്റ്റ് വൺ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ടൈംസ് യു നോ ദ ജപമാല ഡു ഇറ്റ് മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഈവനിങ് യുവർ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് വിൽ ബി ഓവർ ഇഫ് ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ബിക്കംസ് ഈവൻ ബിഗർ ദാൻ ദാറ്റ് ദെൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഫോർ എ ഹിന്ദു ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഫോർ സെയിങ് ഫോർ എവരിബഡി വാട്ട് ഐ ഡു ഈസ് ശ്രീകണ്ഠേശ്വരം ദ ഈസ് സംതിങ് കോൾ എന്തുവാണ് മോർണിംഗ് ത്രീ ഒ ക്ലോക്ക് ത്രീ ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് nirmalyam do it 41 days all the problems will get solved do according to your religion whatever it is but the point is you have to do, instead of taking all the responsibility on your shoulder pass it on to him and say now you i can't manage any more you take care of me i am at your mercy simple as that next next now this is a very important slide for parents we all think other children go wrong but my daughter never will go wrong but the study show that we looked at 362 unmarried pregnant girls and what we found is if you have lack of sexual reproductive health knowledge you have five times more chance of getting pregnant an innocent girl can be cheated a govan girl can never be cheated anybody from goa anybody from goa sir anybody you can spend anything on her you will get nothing in the end of the day okay ha huh? any amount you can spend you will get nothing wasted and came off okay that is what they because they know very well what you are up to how to tackle you they know very well you can but malayali girls poor thing they have never been exposed to anybody so the first person look at your eyes and say i see seven world wonder in your thing then she will get fall for that second and poor intra family relations if you are fighting husband and wife five is fighting seven times chance that your daughter will get unmarried pregnancy not that you can't fight but if you fight you should also show patching up not the full thing at least the trailer you must show you, you understand my point ha huh? because children have only seen you fighting they are not seen you making up so even after the fight and one advice to men never use abusive language never use belittling language because your son will learn it i learned it a hard way when i drive somebody cross i get i used to get irritated anger days and i give some abuse and one day even before i put the brake my son gave the same abuse so <laughs> my because because he thought that is the appropriate thing to do somebody jump give the abuse so my wife looked at me she didn't say anything then after that, never in my life i have used abusive language because you teach the child the wrong thing and third lack of appropriate parental control this is the most important nine times what is appropriate parental control not putting timing to come in and go out not putting timing on on you know media internet facebook and all that okay i have a very simple policy remember whenever you a child do something wrong think of your young days and think how much you could not control all the uh, emotions or you know thing you see a very good chick will you feel like sir will you take a photograph don't tell anybody i won't tell anybody will you or not my phone let you sir you will will you do anybody i think he will do he will do <laughs> yes or no yes all of us have the tendency to do that the only way to get rid of all such problems is by a mobile like me very expensive cost more than a lakh but it is worth it you want to see it 
You want to see that special mobile, which won't give you any temptation? Okay, have a look at Vice Chancellor's mobile. <laughs> this is what I teach my, tell my children. Have a mobile, but don't get into all that. Because if you have it in your hand, you always will have the pressure all the time to do nonsense. Okay? And every time you don't have to do, you have to work on it, you know, all that. Yeah, my problem is, I have no problem. I saw something good. Okay, go on. Nothing more. You can't do that. The parents set the pace for children. If you think of, my wife doesn't like gold too much. She doesn't like all sort of ornaments and all that. My, I am simple. My wife is simple. We have no problem in life. Can you believe a vice chancellor who has never bought a shirt or pant after nine months of vice chancellorship? I have not bought a single one. I'm not joking. It's not because I can't afford it. Because I want to be exactly what I was yesterday. The post of vice chancellorship should not get into your head because after 51 months, I will come down to ground level. Then everybody should look at me the same way. Then and now. You got my message? I'm saying. You are the same person. You know, that's why I said this is not an executive suit, this is not an executive dress, one of the old shirt I am wearing. Wife asked me, don't you want to change? I said, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you have something upstairs, why bother about all these pretensions? Get the point? Next. So you got the message? And this is another huge study we did. Remember, 5,000 girls, we found that they have infection down. And they are shy to tell others. It's the responsibility of the mother to make sure that they don't. Everybody will have. You know how I tell. If you have nose, what will come out of it? Mukala. Something will come out of it. If you have ears, what will come? Something will come out of it. No? If you have mouth, something will come out. So something has to come from there also. Don't worry about it. What is the thing? But when it becomes yellow, stinking, and too much, it is a problem. Better get treatment. The child will be shy. I know that. But remember, the mother should not be shy. She should make sure that she get appropriate help. And this is a huge study, ICMO study, in which the gynecologist did it. And all sort of infections. All sort of, and the most common is fungal. And the best way is not to wear the underclothes in the night. Evening, before going to bed, you must wash yourself. Even if you don't take a bath, bottom you have to wash. A mother should teach it to the child, all throughout he will do. And men also should do. Next. Otherwise it will affect your baby later on. Next. Child abuse a huge issue. A huge study we did, we found that 5% of boys and 10% of girls can be abused. I am sure there must be people sitting here who had been abused. The way I teach them is, not that I am a good man. I am as bad as any human being can be because I am not God myself. But I take an oath. I am the custodian of my mind, body, and spirit. Enda manasindem, sadiratindem, atmavindem, rachadigari, nyandaneyana. I will protect, preserve, and enhance it. Make the girl feel proud of their body, proud of their mind, proud of their spirit. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry can't run over it. Are you with me? This is the message that you should teach the child. Be proud. Because the message that is coming from all external world is everybody is doing, why not me? And if you see between 5 and 10, all the serials, everybody, one child asked me today who will she will sleep with. She doesn't understand, child doesn't understand the meaning of sleeping, but she knows she will be going. See, look at all the dirty serials that teach you bad things to your child. Don't that be the bad influence. The mother should hug the child before Mother and father should hug the child before they go to school. They should hug him or her before they go to bed. Whatever happened in between, have a peaceful night because you might have done so many bad things, but you are part of me. I take the responsibility for what you have done. We are, we are one. We are not two. Your problem is my problem. That's what a father should teach. Next. Next. Last slide, I think. I didn't want to say much about sexuality, but I'll say it in a very simple way. In your young days, what attracts you is physical. So you should look good, you should dress well, you, you should look after your physique, very important. But after some time, 
then what happens is social relationship. When I married my wife for a year or two, it was her physical charm that attracted me. But when my son was born, my respect for her is because she is the mother of my child. Do you understand? And now we have reached a stage where I really started feeling love with her. Because then I realized all these years what I had was more of physical akrandam. Huh? It was that. It's not real love. Real love starts now at a stage when I know that nobody is going to look at me. I'm, I cannot attract anybody anymore too much. With some exceptions, of course. Huh? Huh? She's feeling bad. No, no, she's disagreeing with me. I know you will disagree, but with some exception. But by and large, it's not can be done. This is the time when they need each other. And to the men, I'll tell you, all your life, you make her life miserable. But in the last days, if anybody cry in this world, it is only your wife and children who genuinely feel for you, for your loss. I must have taught lakhs and lakhs of students. Some of them may even come for my funeral. But everybody will do one thing. When is the funeral procession will start? Everybody, because I have to say hello and then go back. The only person who will cry is your wife and children. Think back. All your life, you never appreciated her. You never told her that you have done so much for me. You never told her that you have done so much for my child. You get the point? And you do it, you become a man. You don't become a man by big mush. You become a man when your wife says you are a man. And for that you don't have to have horsepower or something. Nothing you need except a capacity to perceive her needs. You remember, mark my word, perceive her needs. Okay, next. This is the last one. For youngsters, we do premarital, uh, co not counseling, it's called premarital guidance and support. And we do a lot of research on partner assessment. One other girl is doing PhD with me. Sexual reproductive health of young people. Simple one, next. Okay, All, this is the way I train a lot of people across the country for whatever philosophy I'm talking, next. And all published in different, different, different journals. Next. 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 Oh, next. 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 The textbook of pediatrics. Last, I would say, I didn't show the picture of CDC. It was there in the first slide, which I removed, so I forgot. I forgot. The Child Development Center was a dream of mine. And now it is, it is actually giving the leadership in developmental pediatrics, adolescent pediatrics. Now in five years in my university as vice chancellor, in two years I plan to make 80,000, reach out to 80,000 of my children with guidance and support and God willing to all students in Kerala in five years time. Any university whatsoever. Because I believe they need somebody to support them through the difficult years. And the parents are the ideal person to do it, but parents may not have the capacity. You have to have a professional person. Unless we do it, the family will fail, and family fail, all our developmental gains will go away. No man will be happy, no woman will be happy without family. Last word, if you ask me what have I done in my life, VC posts never attract me so much. But I am proud to be a father. I am proud to be a good husband. And I am proud to say that you ask anything, anybody in this world say anything, but my wife will not be the person to listen to that because she knows who I am, my children know who I am, and I know what she is. If you have that family relationship, any amount of abuse from any side will not attract you. And Jagadi, our most beloved Jagadi Sri Umar, probably is the best example of that. Probably he was not the best of husband all throughout. But who look after him now? Who look after him now? His poor wife. Don't forget. He is a living example of a person. He got so busy with his movies and other things 
probably has not given enough attention to his family. But when you are down, for many months people said he is a vacuum without him, film industry won't work, all that. But do anybody really talk about him? Do anybody expect him to come back? Nothing. But it's a poor wife who actually dot on him and the poor children. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is the best method to control emotions? If I was Osho, I would have said, succumb to it. Osho said that, you succumb to it. No. I have only one policy. I have all the emotions. I have all the, everything, what good or bad, every, each one of you have. The only difference between me and some other person is, I will never do so, that will, something that will hurt another person. Get the, get the point? I will never in my life, I am challenging any man or woman in this world. You come and tell me that I have hurt you purposefully. Joking I must have done. Then tomorrow I will not be there. That is the confidence I can tell you. I will never hurt another human being. Now even, not even another animal also. That is the only right and wrong philosophy. I must have done so many bad things. I must have done so many good things. I don't never say good and bad. I only say... Only philosophy of my life is I will not hurt another human being and I have never done. And why I do counseling is because I don't earn anything out of it. You know, five minutes I do a pediatric patient, I will get what I will get after two and a half hours counselling. Same thing I will get after two and a half hours counselling. Still, I will go for counselling, not paediatrics, because I enjoy it. It gives me a lot more satisfaction as than this one. I, I was not going to say, but I will tell you. The only time, recently one girl who got married, marriage was in very bad shape. He was not willing for divorce. I coaxed her to go and go on the knees in front of the judge and say that you save me, otherwise I will commit suicide today. I have no other choice. He, I think the judge also had daughter, so gave this one. She got another good marriage. And she came to my house and said, call my wife, Amma. Amma, I need a blouse. This thing. I said, why do you need your blouse? She made sure she got a patusari and blouse and said, only if you two come, I will get married. And I went for that marriage. The only time in last nine months, on a weekday, I came to Trivandrum. I will never come even if there is a CM's meeting also. Five days I will be in Trishu. But I came only once because I wanted that child to be happy. So that satisfaction I get, you get out of that, being nice to somebody. Eat, eat, eat. You won't get satisfaction. Do you like, how many of you can eat ice cream now? How many can eat? You might eat a little bit. Give that ice cream to another child and see the way he is licking it. That is what life is all about. Present days, even two year, two year child wants to play or view tablet or mobile, maybe only for maximum 10 minutes. Is it dangerous? No, exposing to technology is not dangerous. But if technology is his day-to-day -day play activity, then there is a problem. Because you have to, child should play with Kori, Tarawa, huh? No, Pucha, Patti, inanimate object, Allah. Animate object. You must have reactions, not these gadgets. But at the same time, exposing the child to gadgets is not a bad thing. Nothing will happen if you expose. The problem is not tablet or VC. The problem is cartoon games also. You look at every cartoon. It is all killing, killing, killing or hurting somebody. This is why, that is why we have a person... When a white, uh, this one, lion, a tiger, in Delhi Zoo, he, he caught hold of a man. And one rascal boy said, oh shit, that tree came and spotted. He wanted to see how he grabbed it. How inhuman we have become. Because even the so-called cartoon, which is the commonest one, you say? Uh, mouse and which one? Tom and Jerry. You look at Tom and Jerry, it is also too much of thing. Remember, the West actually program us for nonsense. 20 years ago, if you found a woman with little blouse this much, we used to feel funny. Hey, how can she walk around like that? Now, even the cartoons as well as 
the simple toys they walk in panties have you seen that so how what is it programming a generation to think like what they were thinking and i have nothing wrong against this but when they said when we were walking our women were walking out free covering tying like this and with a lot of air going in they said uncouth people you to go like this you must trust till your knee why are you showing your pokul ille navel why are you showing dirty women here but now they show everything and that becomes a fashion so wherever there is money the money people decide what is right and wrong you understand my point i don't want to publicly say it but a most unfortunate person i saw giving adolescent counseling in the tv a famous person now giving adolescent counseling on the tv that is the way the world has come to so gadgets are not bad let the child get exposed to gadgets but if he leave for the gadgets then he has you have a problem can depression happen twice do depression recur make 99% of the depression if you at pick up early it gets 100% treatment having said that there may be an occasional one which can recur particularly if there is another primary reason for that another thing can happen i remember a sweet little muslim girl she was so docile gentle like a doll and uh, 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 and she had depression so he became all the more inward okay she got married the boy was so happy with such a thing but after a few days she started endra choi chorangi you know what was happening the depression went into other stage of that mania depression is lower mood mania is upper mood depression can be associated with hypothyroidism remember you must check hypothyroidism if you have if you have a cause for your depression treatment is so much easy without cause still we have 99% effective medicine is there but nobody will take medicine when it's required i i remember a child from haripad 3 years she was doing mantravada then show, saw, saw my program on the tv she came to me a plus 2 child having 21 kilo weight she has not slept for 2 weeks must be 40 kilo at least and i i could not manage it i went to send to my friend in velour they stayed there for a month came back 40 kilos now she has completed third year third year <coughs> biomedical engineering and so many children and and this when when they do when they don't do well in they when they don't do well in this one just now i have a child i would say in trichur in one college she is there i said she cannot go back parents said no sir onnu parnja madhi pou yan parnju poi vaynara ayappa came back he came back so it is treatable don't get upset the only real psychiatric disorder is psychosis psychosis is the man who previous days we on the road we see people talking to themselves because they are hearing some voice they are talking to but now when they talk is because they have bluetooth inside ha huh? is they are not psychotic they are this has happened many times i also thought ha huh? what did he say and fortunately it was not a girl otherwise she would have jumped at me how to deal with an crying for everything child crying for everything oh very simple start from very early i have a child who was so bad she used to beat the mother do all this and I told the mother, whatever the child do, come what may heaven turn hell, you are not going to respond. You will keep on talking to me any nonsense. Child started doing this, hitting, scratching, doing blah blah all that. Forty five minutes went on. In the end, she started crying, hugging the mother and all that. Children learn; it is a learned behavior. When they cry, if they will get, they will cry again. You understand my point? But. remember they are children also you can't frustrate them too much but if they you think they are going out of control there is a balance is there children have very poor frustration tolerance they need something they want it give it nothing will happen but if they make an issue out of it nothing doing in my whole life i never beaten my both children but once i had to throw out my child because he was so adamant so adamant this thing i got furious and throw him out of and close the door 
My wife got shocked. She started shivering because she never seen me in such anger. But I was not angry. I was praying nothing should happen because acute shock can he can lose his speech. I was worried about that. But uh, that one incident, any time he do tantrum like that, I say, that message is there. You understand my point? Never beat the child. By beating, actually they enjoy it really. Because they don't feel it. No, beating is not an answer. It's a learned behavior, so don't give them a chance to learn. Yes, ma'am. What is the actual stage of puberty for girls? Actual? Stage of puberty. No, nowadays it's very early. Anything before 9, if they start, we call it abnormal. By 9, they start. First, the breast bud comes. Then there is a, some moistness down there. Few little hair. And slowly it goes. goes By about 12, most of them get puberty. Very early now. That is, a, that is one thing. So because of that, what happened? You know, how, what was the age of puberty 50, 100 years ago? 20, 21 years. It was 25 before that. So by then they are so much mature here. Here they are physically mature, but not emotionally mature. That's where they are, get prey to abuse. Very, very important. And abuse, only thing, yesterday when I was talking to medical students, I told them, if, I am, if you are sitting next to me or my son, who will you trust more? And all the children said, my son. I said, thank you. That is correct. That is correct. You know? Either older people who can't be trusted. Why? 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 I said earlier, the, all the old machines go out of order and then they have to somehow prove it has not totally gone. That's the problem. Understood, no? How can we identify the real love? How can we identify? Very simple. Very, very simple. Somebody who care for your feelings, your needs, your dreams, much more than his or her own, really love you. But somebody who keeps saying morning, afternoon, evening, I love you, I love you, love you, nonsense, they love your body. They love the position of having you next to you so that how others envy you. Most people want others to envy you because of your girl. This, none of this are love. You, you remember, no film star has ever married a handsome boy. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen any film star marrying a handsome boy? Never. Because they know makeup, anybody can be made handsome. But difficult to get a real good human being who will stand with you in good and bad times. You, you get the point? Next. Sir, you have told that minimum age to start school is six years. Huh. There are a lot of preschools today. And children start schooling at an age of 2.5 or 3. What is your view? It's because parents insist. We have been fighting for 30 years. It cannot be. In fact, government is now agreed that 6 years and they should have a completed immunization. You see, I remember, you know, one of the greatest leaders I adored was K. Karnavaran. We went, 20 years ago, we went to him for this preschool business. It should be and all that. He agreed to everything we said. We were so happy. CME is agreeing. And as we were walking out, they just called us back. And then slowly, ring, ring, you know, his usual style and said, nothing will happen. Eh? Nothing will happen. Why? Because the textbook lobby is the most powerful people in, the, in Kerala now. So even if you can make a textbook for one-year-old child, the lobby will make sure that there is a textbook. The parents go after that. Remember, make your, my son went for dental. Every friend of mine said, you are making a mistake. Children will say so many things, you must send him for medicine. I didn't say. I said, you like it, go ahead. Whatever you do, be good in that. Doesn't matter what you do. Whatever you do, be good in that. Though if you start teaching very early, they, get, they start hating all this. Everything should come naturally. Everything should come naturally. Yes, ma'am. Three years, uh, it's about a situation... Not combining sentences in bracket, four words combination. Is it okay? Not exactly okay, but I won't say it is abnormal. That is where the simple language evaluation screening tool will help you. Is it normal or not? Okay. Because it is compared to a very international scale and we have found it is almost safe. And we have done one and a half lakh children across the Kerala 
and prove that it is good. So if you go to Child Development Center, take an appointment, it will take only 10, 15 minutes for them to say whether your child is okay or not. Is it true that exposing the child to TV and laptop increases temper tantrums? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Because, you see, the problem in, with these things is whatever you click, it will happen. So they get so used to that whatever I do, it should happen. I always tell them, tell people, marriage is not like laptop because there anything goes wrong, you can press escape, everything you can wipe off. In human life, nothing can be wiped off. So it's not like laptop. Children, especially teenagers, are highly addicted to electronic gadgets, mobile phones and social networking sites. How can we make them aware without making them into troubles? You see, the point is, each child temperament is different. One solution cannot work for everybody. My own children do not do anything. You, you understand my point. They have their thing. It is in an open place. My wife also do it. Everybody do it. Nothing happens. But some people, children want privacy and all that. Don't make a big issue of it. But you must teach them at every opportunity. I'll give you an example. Patrataru. There was a uh, theatre there. Remember old theatre in Patram? Eh? Kalpana. I went with my son for a movie somewhere. And suddenly I, I saw one woman coming and sitting next to the thing. And looked at her. I knew what she is. So I told my son, please don't lean that way. Lean this way. Eh? So that, you must use that opportunity to teach that. <clears throat> After my one of my TV programs, one lady called, girl or lady, I think she says she is lady. Anyway, call me and start asking some uh, questions on sexuality. Which is okay. Now it's okay. I answered. She called again, second time. Then also I thought it's okay. As. Then she said, I, uh, you know, uh, I like men with a lot of mush. I said, that's not an illness. There's nothing wrong in that. There's no problem in that. Then the second question came, sir, you have mush or not? I said, the problem has started now. Thank you. <laughs> Eh? Now the problem has started. Till now it was okay. Now the problem has started. What I did is, I gave to my son, I told him such a story. I said, why don't you just delete that number? I don't know how to do it. Actually, I knew it, but I, I thought, it's a way of learning, teaching him. You understood? My son was in Delhi. He was the International Institute of Management. I went to see him. I spent one hour. Then I, you know, you know the Delhi girls? You know, if something is in front, there won't be anything in the back. If, you know, if something is up, they will be there. You know, all sort of dress and all that. So I told my son, I must say in Malayalam, then only one, I said, I'm going to manage it. Eh? I'm going to manage it. Even the father can't, you know, take it. How do you manage? And he's also a very jokey fellow. He said, let me finish this semester, then I'll, I'll go full swing. So what am I trying to teach him? If you feel something, it's okay. Even your father will feel. The problem with all of us is we pretend that we went through that stage. And never tell them that it's okay. Even father can feel at any time. Mother can feel. And we have gone, we have made mistakes in life. That's why I'm telling you, don't take the, make the same mistake. Feel humble in front of them. If you have to say sorry, learn to say sorry. How many times I have told sorry to my son? Nothing okay. Because after all, he is part of my blood. Another thing I have always told him. I know you won't do nonsense. But remember, if you got into trouble, don't look this way or that way. Your father will be with you. 100%. Come what may, you have done the worst thing in this world. Still, your father and mother will be. Because who else should be standing by the side? Give that confidence to the child. Don't turn to a third person. If you made a mistake, you made a mistake. We will correct it. But don't go to the other extreme. Preventive measures to PCOD. Preventive measures? Yeah. 100 person. That you to ask me 100 times anything, I will tell you. Last word on the subject. You see, weight reduction, weight reduction, weight reduction. You have to reduce the weight. Remember, whatever you eat after 7 o'clock goes to two parts. This part and this part. And the fat here is something, a peculiar type of fat. Even if your face becomes hollow like this, this fat won't move out from there. All this has been done to protect you in terms of famine. You must understand this. My biggest thesis I have given, I didn't talk, 25 years follow-up of these babies, 
I have submitted a huge thesis. And uh, the, the outcome of that is 25 years after what happened to these children. Remember, there is something called Barker hypothesis. It says that an Indian baby compared to a Western baby is packed with fat, with all organs are packed. Why we are packed with fat is because we genetically we were tuned to famine. But now what happens is not even one day we take a uh, So if you are taking Monday, you know, you won't eat anything. What happens is whatever leftover came, additional thing came, it will get compensated. Now, it is going in and in and more. It cannot go out. We are not exercising. You, you get the point. Problem with the, the reason for PCOD is because good schools, the last one hour is pakka for games. Many private good schools do that. I saw one school in Tushur. Beautiful school. They said every child has to be in one program or other, apart from a curricula. It can be music, it can be dance, it can be sports, it can be games. But they should be good in that. You get the point. So give them time. If it's a hostel, do what is basketball ring. Just put one ring and so that they can dribble. You know? But only thing is, you know, when you do when the girls do that, make sure they wear good dress, otherwise people on the terrace will be, you know, monitoring the waves. So just make sure that because you know that's dangerous. Dangerous because a particular time the girl comes for the show, then it will attract more people. All this you have to be. When you go to a gym or any ladies club and all that, make sure unmarried girls should not go alone. Mothers should go. Because the person who come there, many of them are shady characters. Very easily they will take your girl. Be very careful on that. Yes. And the last question is, arrogance in the adolescent age. Perfectly normal. You will never find a more arrogant boy than my son. I'm telling you. Especially the second one. Arrogant means it is their way of showing their emotions. But when I do exam, why did I do? I have done 10 degrees. Now 11th one was law. I could not complete. I didn't do all this to become VC. I did because to enthuse my son to learn. My wife will say, padi, padi, he will not do it. How do I enthuse him? So what I do is I also, you know, TV addict. We will see the TV for some time, then suddenly I get up, no, I have to finish this today, no, sorry. I will walk away. What will happen? Another five minutes, he will also walk away. Because I have to study, so he also will do that. And when I, after the exam, when I come, I said, how was the exam? So-so. Get under, so-so. Parayo, ningana makkul parayo yangane. So-so. Okay. No answer. So when I come after the exam, he will say the same thing. I also say, so-so, so-so. Then he understood. My son go out, we used to call on the phone, and they used to hate it. But now, from Trichur here, when I come, at least four times my son will call me. He said, He understood. Whatever we do, they take it. Arrogance is not bad behavior. It is their only way they know how to express their emotions. When they become very arrogant, you become very soft. You become... Difficult. I know it is difficult, but you have to learn to do that. Our problem is we take it to heart. Why do you have to take it to heart? After all, it's our blood, our body, part of our body. But if you can't forgive him for that behavior, and if he, d you know, another thing, all these children who are so arrogant at home will be the most best behaved child in the school. Have you noticed that? They take it out only on mother. And the last word I'll tell you, before the examination, Every child will pick up fight with the mother. End angle and garnam bolni vara konda ko. End the type parthangalai. That day's study is gone. So what the mother should do is in the examination time end the chornyaalu karla kar. Chumma the mandai re naam bolu. Because they are waiting. Because that is the way they have to get rid of their anxiety. And if you don't, I mean, if it, they can't shout at you, who they can shout at? Grandfather may not tolerate. Neighbor may not tolerate. Friends may not tolerate. It's only who you can shout at. It's the, you, the wife, can shout at. It's the, it's the you that the husband can shout at. But shouting doesn't mean we hate each other. It only means expression of my, my 
difficulties at some point. Thank you.